The Today Manufacturing Podcast offers a powerful and unique perspective on the biggest stories impacting U.S. manufacturers. Anna Wells, David Manti, and Jeff Ranke apply their experience as editors of industry-leading brands Manufacturing.net and Industrial Equipment News in providing in-depth analysis of the latest headlines. Their insight, along with a mix of humor and human interest, makes Today in Manufacturing a go-to source. Keep pace with supply chain challenges, electric vehicle developments, labor struggles, robotics, and more by listening, downloading, and subscribing to the Today in Manufacturing podcast. About two weeks ago, thieves targeted a major Santo Spirits shipment as it crossed the border into the United States. The tequila company is co-owned by celebrity chef Guy Fieri and musician Sammy Hagar. First reported by People, thieves hijacked a pair of Santo trucks carrying an estimated $1 million in spirits in an incredible caper that continues to unfold as the investigation continues. The cargo included 4,040 cases of tequila, nearly 25,000 bottles. Some bottles even included a special aged Añejo that took 39 months to produce. The trucks had just crossed into Laredo, Texas, and were headed to distributors in California and Pennsylvania. Neither made it, and Santos' logistics partner, Johansson, was thrown off by some sophisticated technology. According to Johansson, things started looking fishy around November 9, 2024, and the transportation company soon found out that the loads had been illegally double brokered to different carriers. Double brokering happens when a broker with a signed contract with a shipper passes that shipment to a different broker without the original shipper's knowledge. The secondary broker completes the shipment while the original broker watches from the sidelines. The second shipper allegedly spoofed the GPS signal Johansson was using to track the shipments with a GPS emulator. Santos CEO Dan Butkus told Forbes that the drivers even sent photos to dispatch saying they had broken down and the GPS information matched the driver's accounts. Once the drivers reached the Rado, the heist was on and Santo was none the wiser until distributors started asking for their tequila. By then, Butkus says it was too late. The trucks were MIA and the driver's phones disconnected. Fieri was understandably disappointed. He told People that the company is experiencing its best year on record, but that will come to a screeching halt. Fieri says the company's independent Mexico-based distiller is working around the clock to replenish supply. However, Santo will still face shortages. Disappointing for a company on a heater coming into its busiest time of the year. Authorities recently recovered one of the trucks in Los Angeles as it was being offloaded in the street. The area is reportedly known for criminal activity. The other truck remains in the wind. In a statement, the company said it has been, quote, a wild couple of weeks. However, the company is, quote, extremely relieved and grateful that all members of the Santo team and the freight company are safe. Butkus says the heist is the, quote, strangest thing he's seen in his 25 years in the spirits business. The nature of the caper suggests the company was targeted. Even if any product is recovered, the company can't sell it. Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau regulations say alcoholic products must remain under tight control from manufacturer to consumer, and the theft broke that chain of custody. Hagar founded Santo in 2017. Fieri joined as a partner in 2019. I'm David Manti. This is Manufacturing Now.